Sandeep, I'm excited to catch up with you here at DTW Ignite in Copenhagen. And I mean, AI is the topic at the show. So maybe let's just start by getting an understanding of how Mavenir is thinking at a high level about putting AI into its products. As you know, in, in the industry, AI is the new buzz. You know, we are, we are all excited to bring this technology. So Mavenir is including AI in three ways for the CSPs. Typically, the first way is more on the operational side, where we are adding a lot more in reading operational data, the logs and statistics coming out of the network, and we are using that to train the models to bring anomaly detection and to solve a lot of operational problems from there for the operator. The second we are solving is more from the customer information, where we are in capturing a lot of the customer information and we are using AI logic to actually offer next best offers or products to the customer based on their behavior and based on the kind of usage they have done, the pattern and all that. And the last is we are using, as you know, in the BSS, CSPs have to con constantly adapt in order to compete in the market. We are using AI even to solve the building the R&D problems as well. So we are using AI to build new, new software uh, whereby our developers are able to build very high quality software using AI tools which reduces the total time of development, increases the software quality and so that's, that's the... Yeah, I think there's been a lot of discourse at the show around this idea of uh, telecom operators really needing to get away from legacy mindset and think more like technology companies in this hyper-competitive landscape. Do you think AI is the uh, tool that they can use to make that transition effectively? Yes, AI is very effective in first reducing. So at the end of the day, AI is trying to solve where they were putting a lot of human power into it and they were not able to act fast enough. So a lot of operational excellence can be brought in, optimization, and plus AI is able to find and detect trends and logics which how to offer next things to the customers. So we are using, and that that's a huge benefit for CSP to compete with the, um, you know, the OTTs in the, in the telecom world. The other part that we are also helping the operators to use AI is to expose the network using API. So we are talking to a lot of operators how to take the network capabilities set and offer and expose this to the third party developers or to the other partners. With this, not only they can become the enabler of those partners, they will become part of the new revenue line that would come, that would be enabled by them. So that's a very powerful thing in that, in that fashion, we are able not only to expose the network function, but to help operators monetize, new, implement new commercial models for doing this. And AI is getting used in all of that to offer next best services to these third parties as well. So do you think, you know, you mentioned next best services, is that maybe kind of the short term goal that operators need to be working towards as it relates to their AI strategy? I'm trying to understand, you know, this long term vision of AI, but what's a short term lever that is attainable and doable given the asset mix that most operators have in place today? No, excellent question. Actually, you're absolutely right. Short term understanding customer information, being able to do a natural language communication with your customer and offer them new products and services give them offers based on their usage patterns. That's that's a very critical short step that we can see operators already going in that direction. And the second, we also see operators are spending a lot of effort in the operational cost reduction as well, where rather than having any net uh, operator uh, anomalies in the network, we are able to solve, look at trends from the logs and able to solve that in a faster, so increase the network credibility and, and hence the customer experience. And so I, I do want to appreciate the short-term reality of the situation, but when we think about this idea of an AI native telco, I, I would love to get Mavenir's perspective on the long-term trajectory of uh, CSPs fully embracing AI for their operations to uh, provide better services to their customers, but to also make their operations more efficient. Uh, and and that's what so not only we are helping them in the short run as I said we are helping with the long term trajectory so if you have to break AI how it works for the divided in three data is the fuel Mavenir is already building network and BSS software lines where at every decision point in the network we are able to extract intelligence out of it 
not only then we are able to clean and increase the quality of the data by bringing correlators and transformers into the network and feed it into an AI logic. The second part is the AI foundational models on which we are training based on all the historical data we have across the world. So we get better by using all the existing information and feeding into the logic. So we are using a lot more new technological advances and we are constantly improving what is happening in the AI world. The third and the last piece is because of the capability of our, net, of our network function to be granular and have APIs, we can act the, the intelligence that is driven from the AI, we are able to execute on it in a very surgical fashion. So let's say we want to change the network parameter to better match or to reduce any future critical abnormality in the network. We are able to take that kind of a decision a lot faster in a very surgical fashion as well. So strategically, that's how we are helping the operator in forward-looking world where automation and AI would come in an autonomous network network management norm. Well, it sounds like Mavenir has a really pragmatic approach to this and it's a really exciting vision. So Sandeep, I appreciate you taking the time to share that with our audience Thank today. you so much. I appreciate your time here. Hi.